for the select board meeting of October 2nd. Uh, <clears throat> we, do, we do have scheduled a non-public uh, meeting for personnel uh, issues at 8 o'clock. But in the meeting, we will, in the meantime, we will uh, sort of plow through the agenda. So number one is the approval of minutes. Michael, any comments on our budget workshop? And the, okay, so by consensus, we're accepting both sets of, of minutes. Mm -hmm. One is really meeting notes, the budget yeah. workshop minutes. Uh, community input. So I see that Mark Kucha, one of our cemetery trustees, is here. I think he's here to talk to us about budgets. Thank you. Would like to come on up? Yeah, the, uh, the reason I come in is I, I, I mean, I've been kind of putting this off, but uh, I wanted to present the budget. Uh, we haven't met the trustees. We're supposed to meet probably tomorrow night. Are you meeting here? Yeah, it's Christmas. You no, know, we were going to meet on the cemetery. Oh, okay. Because meeting. there is a planning yeah, board. Yeah, so we're going to look at uh, okay. down there. Uh, but I think we're going to agree with this anyway. But I, I want to stick with the same budget uh, as last year. The only difference, uh, we've spoke uh, in the past, and I, mean, I know I was supposed to show you uh, the different no, stuff. No, no guilt. No <laughs> guilt. No guilt. But anyways. Uh, Andrea and I have been talking mm -hmm. about uh, uh, you know the cemetery program that we put in all the information mm -hmm. in and uh, sure. everything's on the computer. Uh, it's on an access uh, yep. uh, database. Yep. database. And uh, what we'd like to do is purchase a, uh, a laptop that we can put all this information on, take it off and and uh, be able to uh, Myself, I'd still put the information all in, but if something ever happened down the road with me, or, yeah, or nice. it, it just passed the whole computer right on to the mm -hmm. town, and Andrea would tell how to do it. Or, or sure, so we'd have whoever. a backup, we'd have some redundancy. Exactly, here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, then, and then it wouldn't be on my computer, and then, then we wouldn't have to worry about right. it off of there. Right. So, what I recall, Mark, is that. The computer here is like completely outdated, and, right. but you've got you're running an up sort of an updated version of Access and everything, so we wouldn't have any difficulty. Well, what I what I had to do uh, when we went to put it on, uh, when I had purchased the laptop and it had the office uh, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. with the Access, we tried to put it on and we couldn't do it, and I went to a, a computer. Tom or uh, somewhere somewhere. No. Uh, um, you know, I'll find a week's travel. Okay. Some, oh, oh, yeah, right. I can't do where they're going. They yeah. couldn't do anything for me, but they sent me to a guy in Hampton mm -hmm. who, went, who uh, put it on and charged us $140 to do it. Got it on and everything's been working fine. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I this guess, transition should be smoother. It, uh, right, yeah. 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 hopefully. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm, I'm wondering, uh, I, I know you've worked in the field. Uh, how much should I budget for, uh, for, uh, for a, like, say, a new laptop well, yeah, program? Yeah, sure. So, uh, here, here I'm, let me, I'm just going to say this out loud, mm -hmm. just yeah. just so you know people can hear. Right. My, my druthers, if, if, if we could imagine this kind of a situation, is that we would have something that's available online. Either And Microsoft does have online subscriptions, which make it, may include access the access uh, portion, or may not. But if if we can do something online, then we're not. Um, then it means that Andrea can can look at it and work from it and work on it from her desk. You can do it from wherever you are, okay. and we would still need, I think, uh, some. Well, I, I, that would be up to you. If you, we could put it on Andrea's. Yeah. For example, right. and then you could access right. it. Right. Would well, that's would well, that? Well, that'd be fine. That would be not, yeah. that would work. So let's. Uh, how you'd like to do this ASAP, right? Probably. No, no. I, 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 so if we're talking about a, mic a Microsoft Office subscription, that's probably. Uh, it may be like three to five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a year. It's not. It's not terrible. No. And there's no. What you do is you remove yourself from having to fix a computer that's on the fritz. 
you know, you eliminate another piece of right. equipment, okay. right? Yeah. So it's not just the capital expense, but it's the keeping it going. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to make a note, yeah. Mark, and I'm going to see if what what a subscription to Microsoft Office costs, and if it has access. Right. And I will get back to you. Okay. I'll be wise. Goodness, I don't. I haven't bought. I don't think computer equipment is expensive these days. No. I yeah. would say you know maybe five hundred dollars. Yeah. That's, that's you know. That's what I think. I, I did want a laptop, yeah, and then you need the license for. Well, Microsoft Office. Yeah, Office. that's why I, you know, since again, where I go back to, it'd be nice to get an online thing. Yeah. Right. For it, actually, I think it's like a hundred bucks. You have to pay for it every year, but there are advantages. Like right. I said, you can access it, Android can access it. Right. Here's some. You get all the security features. Yeah. So. That's so. Fine with me. I know. So let me look at, and it will never get outdated. You know, it's not yeah. like your machine will all of a sudden be too old no, because no. you won't have a machine. Yeah. All right, so I'll check right. into that, okay. and I'll get back to you. All right. And meanwhile, when you get um, uh, finality and everything else in your budget, you can just send it along. <coughs> Maybe you can just have a little placeholder for the computer subscription. Okay. All right. Yeah. Alternatively, it's, it's possible that maybe the town just buys it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Out yeah, of our right. IT line? Right. Right. <laughs> because, you know, we... we, we so that, that may be a possibility. Yeah. Okay. Okay, right. so thank you. Thanks a lot. Nice to see you, Mark. Nice to see you. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Any other community input before we go to... Chief, you're on. Well, I just have one thing. Okay. <laughs> I was just to review the... Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> and I, I'm struggling with some issues, and it just took up a lot of my time. So um, what we can do is... Let's see, we won't meet again after two weeks. Have you read it? What's that? The RP? Yeah, we can't that was... Oh, it was just me. Oh, on that old committee where it worked That's on it. Yes, no, <laughs> <laughs> um, the chief actually sent it to all of us to look at first before we send it to them, so I have seen that. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, if it because it it's it is would be nice to know what magnitude we're talking about. It's mm -hmm. nice to know how big the red red box right. it is. Correct. So we could try um, to get a meeting to just a quick meeting together, maybe even with Jody. Because that's the other thing, too. I mean, I'd like Jody's input as well on sending it out. Is this ready to go? I mean, if, I, if we read it, is it? It's ready for me to hit send. Okay. To the two contractors that we know about are involved. All right. Whoever may, who may uh, All right. want it uh, after reading it to publicly. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will. There's a distribution method through the Municipal Association. There is so. that. We can put it on our website, right. the Municipal Association. And then interested contractors that we know about, you have two. So, I'm really sorry. But I mean, we'll just have to change the, the date for the. Uh, well, what should it say? Well, I, I did change it uh, last week. It was originally November 2nd, and I changed it to November 9th. So, so we, you know, we should give them at least uh, at least 30 days. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, we can do that. So, maybe a month and a half. You know, we may be able to get it. You know, as soon as I finish reading, and I'll check in with Jody and say, Jody, read this. And you know, we can always meet for like a 10, 15 minute meeting. So we can do that. So we're not having to wait two weeks because that's a long time. So we'll try to get that done before. Okay. All right. I'll try to set something up. If she's going to Yeah, maybe she can call. Maybe she can use call. Any time on Friday? And would you would you want to be here to hear us? Or? If you want me, yeah, I can be here. If you have any, just in case you have any questions on. When I read it, I'll probably know whether I have questions. If I don't have any questions, okay. then I don't know why you need to be here. Okay. We would just let you know, and then you know you can coordinate with Caroline then sending in the RFPs. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, that's not okay, really, but it's just sometimes you can't. We're all out there. We're yeah. all busy schedules. Yeah. Anything for me? Just, uh, you know, if we're still struggling to find snowplow drivers. $20 an hour, so if you know anybody, you know, send them our way. You know, uh, we're just yeah. trying to get a pool of people. Uh, we've got 
you know, my Dion, who has been doing it for us, he doesn't have a commercial license, so he drives, I guess he does the village. Yeah, the smaller truck. Yeah, and does it in the smaller, smallest truck. So, so just, just that. Keep your eyes and ears open and let us know. Will do. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. All right, to follow with the agenda, uh, minimum housing standards, uh, the next step, I think, is to, to clean up what we've already done from last week's edits of Tom. Mm -hmm. And then we can think about setting up. Maybe we can, maybe we can tentatively... Set it up now? Well, yeah, at least get a date on our calendars. Perfect. So I've got, Mike, I've already got, uh, based on the minutes, that when I was reading the minutes with mm -hmm. Jody, we sort of talked about doing a 6 o'clock budget workshop, reserving that for the 16th and 23rd. Yeah. I'm in Washington. Okay. All right. Yep. So, so now, so we're looking at maybe the, either the maybe the sixth. How about November sixth? That way, if we really need another budget workshop on the thirtieth, we could do it. Sure. November sixth. Hate to wait that long. But do you want it sooner? Um, how about? I mean, well, we can do it for the thirtieth of, of October. Biggest night. Want we'll to try that? Is that the night we do the trip? Oh, it doesn't matter. I was afraid it would be that night. So. Yeah, but if it is, um, if it is a trick or treating night, you're not going to get anyone to come. They're all going to be at the house and giving out candy to kids. So. Well, the sixth. Sixth it is. Okay. okay. Right now it's tentative, but we'll. Uh, We'll shoot for that. Okay. Excellent. I can get it in my calendar. I'm okay. listening really. I'm just trying to. Um, okay. Uh, septic fees. I don't know if we're ready to act on it. I'd like, like to wait for Jody to be here, I think, before. Okay. Unless we're ready to. I am ready, but that I, I want to respect her. I understand. I know. Well, well, let's, let's at least talk. Do you want to make a motion? I don't want to make a motion. I don't want to. I mean, I think we need to do it, though, but. Okay. We'll, uh, Why do we need that? School can fit to And next on the list is fire. How's that for timing? How's that? That's pretty good. How's that? Yeah. Right to when the list came up? Yeah. Wow. What a quiet room tonight. It is a quiet room. how we like it. <laughs> Every once in a while. I have a couple of pieces. Clean up some of our needs. <coughs> Two POs for you this evening. First one is Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. U
he's going to come into the station. This is some of the uh, building maintenance line item mm -hmm. to do some of the needed upgrades that I discussed before. You know, when we're going through CIP and budgeting and all that kind of stuff, and I wanted to raise it up, this is one of the issues. We're doing some some of these upgrades of stuff that's from the original when the station was there. And we're going to we're changing around the kitchen a little bit. We want to add a microwave and do some upgrades, so we need to move some circuitry and whatnot around. So CMO's going to come in and do three different upgrades within the station. So you know, electricians and electricians are not, uh, not cheap by any means. So for the three of them that he's going to do are listed here on his uh, quote on his quote for us. His estimate a total of $2,130 to do some needed electrical upgrades within the firehouse. That money's still available, I yes, think, for $7,500. Yeah, basically what we've done, we've attacked that $7,500. We, we used what, three grand, I think, somewhere right around the there, to refinish the floors. This electrical upgrade is the next step. And then some of the floors that we had done, we did the radio room and we did the meeting room, which is right next to it. Next year we'll do the training room. I just didn't want to expend all that for this reason. And then there's, uh, <laughs> try to get the guys to do painting in the room when we did the floors. That's just a disaster. So uh, there's going to be enough money left over that I'm going to seek an estimate and bring in somebody to do it that day. Because we tried over two Monday nights and it's like, you guys got to be kidding me. So in order to do it correctly and in a timely manner, Otherwise, you know, I'd be spending all winter trying to do it my own self. So there's, there's enough left. That, that's my goal, to try to finish those three projects. And that kind of leads to a conversation you and I had through email about next year's line item for the same thing. And I want to try to keep it the same, if that all fits within the budget. And like I said, for the flooring, we still have that issue in the men's bathroom that needs to be some plumbing upgrades mm -hmm. that we take care of in there. So those are some of the two things that I'm already looking forward to. Next year. And the outside of the station can be is looking shabby. Mm -hmm. Well, we do have, you know, we're there. still in the early stages, but right sure. now we've got that, the 7,500 in that. Yeah, and that, that, that would, that yeah. would uh, you know, as, as I look forward and, and know what some of these estimates are, we already have, that would cover anything we're studying with. All right, good. This isn't a, this is not an LED upgrade, or is it, was that part of this? The uh, no, it's not a lighting upgrade. This is, this is uh, some of the, uh, it's moving circuitry okay. in the kitchen. Yeah. And one problem that we have is you go in and you turn on lights to the radio room, it runs the meeting room and the training room. They all come on together. I see, that's not efficient. And, yeah, and that's what one of those is, is to, is to separate those circuits so that we're not burning lights when we don't need to. Sure. So trying to, you know, cut down on some of that. The rest of that is some of the circuitry in the kitchen has to be upgraded to GFI and whatnot. Because what, what we want to do is um, add some cabinetry and some additional countertop space. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sean Gooden donated us a, a microwave on the spot for it. So some of that circuitry is going to allow us to redo some, some space needs in the kitchen and, and incorporate that into yeah. it. Good. Okay. Well, I'll move purchase order number 1240 to SEMO Electric for electrical upgrade to the fire station for $2,130. I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 The SEMO is still the one that's been our contact through uh, ever so somewhat enough to try to get that grant and upgrade. And well, and there's, the you and know, there's the bigger picture of the town, which, you know, we tried to get done last year, and... Because um, every time I see him in the fire station, he looks up at him. I know. You know, you can't know. get bolts to that one anymore, um, and you can't get bolts to that anymore. And all right, so that's the quote. Do you want to see us? I know where we're headed. We're trying, we're trying to get ahead of the curve, yeah. and he's trying to help us along through that process. Yeah, I appreciate it. Trying to get all that stuff done. Okay. Um, fire trucks are all, we got one left to go down for, this is our inspection. Last month was our inspection month. So we have just engine three to do. I wasn't going to do it, but I kind of have to for my only reason. So that's got to get inspected. All the trucks have been done, they've all passed. There's no Excellent. added expenditures on that end of it. Um, had a conversation the other day with Ron Courier from Hilltop Chevy mm -hmm. about our mm -hmm. command vehicle, which yes. is supposed to be this month. Well, it's going to be the last week in October. He guaranteed me that that's when it will show up. And I kind of had to you know, be a little bit more forceful than I had been. The fact that it needs to be here now so that we can get it outfitted. 
and I don't want to run the problem like we ran into with the radio things where right. that money's got kind of like a time stamp on it. So if we keep pushing this back, all of a sudden, you know, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm going with the radio issue. I do. That would be played out on it. Yeah. So I don't want that stuff happen. So one thing to keep in mind, though, if, you know, I, it's always better to, to do it the way you're trying, going to try to do it. But if, if something happens, it, as long as we can legitimately issue a purchase order for whatever it is that we need to do, even if it comes in in January, if we've issued it in, in the fall, okay. yeah. you know, then it, that's, there's the intent, and it's, you know, it's not going to be forevermore. We, there's a date when it okay. will come. Okay. Because I've given you the purchase, the, uh, the PO for the vehicle. That is still, I'm pretty sure, Caroline. Caroline was tagged, yes. Here. So that part's been done. And the other hurdle that I'm still dealing with is two-way, is to get it all outfitted. You know, lighting, radio right. communication package, and the striping all that. Mm -hmm. And they're supposed to do that in one group, and we were playing phone tag and try to get the last entity, which is the striping done. Once I get that done, I'll have a number so I can come down and, and submit a PO okay. so the vehicle will sit there. And, you know, I'm staying right with the budget, and there's going to be enough in here, because I think it, from what's left over from the Warren article, it's like seven. Six or seven thousand, mm -hmm. and the cost to do all the uh, yeah. outfitting is a little over eight. But there's money within the budget that we can. Budget. Yeah, um, and just looking at some of the bigger items are very easy just to grab some of that so you can make it all fit Sounds without good. going anywhere else. Sounds good. Okay. And uh, I'll be from Thursday is CIP. Yes. Twelve. I was going to come in. So I don't know, maybe, maybe, you know, I really didn't want to do too much, but you know, things pop up so. That's something we're Just gonna get them on the list. That's something Always we're going to add. It's yeah. not right away, but it's something we're going to look at. Basically, it's, it's the forestry. That's going to have to start be sliding some money away to get it replaced because the truck is developing. Electrical issues and some mechanical issues. It's a 2003. Is, it, oh, it, is that a standard vehicle that we can get from the state we contract? Get, we can get it from the state bid. So I'll kind of, kind of been looking at that, and I can talk to Chief Dushan because he's the one that grabs us all the information. Okay. And we can start looking at the cost of it. And, uh, I don't know if you know the past history, the one that we have now, that was from a prior board sitting in your seats made some sort of deal with a, a, uh, a road agent who was here and swung it around and ended up giving the truck to the fire department. And it really wasn't made for what our purposes were, but we fit it in. So we're just looking at it. It's, again, it's 13 years old and showing a lot of age. So uh, that's just something we're going to add. That's the only thing. Okay. Oh, that's just the same list of what's there, but I'll be ready for when we do that in a week. All right. Two yeah. weeks. We're not meeting next week. Two weeks. Yeah, Monday night is, uh, what, Columbus, Columbus Day or something? Day. something? Yeah. Indige yeah. Indigenous Peoples Day? Both. All those things. Whatever it is, yeah, there is we're not, we're not, we're not going to be here. Yeah. Whatever you'd like yeah. to call that day. That uh, works for me. We're okay. going to call it closed for business. All right. So, like I said, you know, those ones I gave you, we got some other ones that we're Do we keep them and you pick them up from Caroline? Is that Correct. Right? Okay, good. Caroline will take that. whatever piece she needs, takes the yellows, I guess, and then in my travels through here the rest of the week, she gives me that stuff. Right. We'll make the squirt away. I have something for you. So, we are looking for snow plow drivers. Mm. And so, if you know people with a CD license in particular, I think we've got... CDL license for yeah, that. What I say. Yeah. yeah, CDL, yes. Mm -hmm. So, if you know anybody who... Well, tonight's our monthly meeting night when I go back yeah. out there, and most of the members of the fire department are around, so I'll ask them if they know anybody. Yeah. They can go through their networks and maybe... Can... Exactly. I mean, even if it's somebody like a firefighter, I mean, if we had a pool of people, we can always work with whatever schedule of people are, yeah. you know, we just call. Okay. A lot of those guys do that now. We like go out for like Wade and some other people and do, you know... So we're offering like $20 an hour. All right. Well, that's good to know. I can like hook some of them. So... And you're trying to generate a list so you can have... Well, we right now we have our new road agent and Mike Dion. That's it. And yeah, the minimum would be three. Bare minimum is three. Bare minimum is three. We, we really two. would like to have <laughs> more. So sure. yeah. A pool would be perfect. A pool would yeah, be perfect. Yeah, yeah. So people could be... I did, you start I did a speak to someone in your stuff. department who doesn't have a CDL, but he, he said he might be interested in being on the list for the Ford. David. Knowles? Your, your pancake uh, guy. Pancake guy. Pancake <laughs> guy. <laughs> sure, he would love to be. No, well, no he, he does. does like, well, he, he does. He has a little plow route. Yeah. So vehicle so mm -hmm. I'll pass that on and let people he, know. Yeah, he chatted with me briefly. So if, if he's still interested, he can let us know. But obviously, that would be a pool to add to the right. for the Ford. 
Well, you know, I mean, I can even throw my name in there, but I know what would happen. I'd be out driving a golf cart and they'd be in the I'd call it at the river. So it doesn't quite add up right. to well. Right. Yeah. So I can't quite double dip that way, because i got CDL and all that, and I'd drive big trucks for But in an emergency, there. I suppose, I don't know. I mean, you had Sean Good do an awful lot of plowing for you last year. I don't know if he's going to he, step up and do it or not. He's got a new job. Oh, he's gone all the time. He doesn't have the hours. Last week he was in Toronto, this week yeah. he's in Phoenix. So, so, yeah, he's all over the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that he had a CDL. Did he have a CDL? Does he have a CDL? I don't know. I don't drove, but I don't know if I don't he know what he was driving. I thought he was driving the backhoe with things and he drove the smaller rig. Yeah, yeah I think he did the backhoe, like yeah. clearing of the lot here, right? Yeah. Over at the transportation when yeah. they bring snow over. Yeah. 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 I mean, we'll start calling people to help in those ways, but I mean, if, if but we can't. We, we have nobody to call for, for the bigger machines. Right. We have okay. a road agent, and that's it. Okay. So whatever you can do to drum up some I will, I will business, go we back would appreciate it. Here, Dover, wherever. All right. Yeah, I don't want to Dover guys. I'll stick that out mm -hmm. there too. Maybe somebody can come around. And this way, animal. we'd probably be willing to negotiate too. Okay. But right now, it's twenty bucks an hour. I understand. I will carry that along. All right. Yeah, because actually we have a, a joint uh, exercise with Dover coming up. We're going to have a training through the state the 16th of this month on, uh, basically it's a Seabrook drill. Dover is a, is a host community for the Seabrook, Seabrook evacuation plans. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens, everybody drives out of there and they head to Dover. To Dover is one. Manchester does a, a portion of it and Rochester does it. And every three years they have to go through a recertification through the feds. So the 16th is our first class. That's because we have so many new people, they have to go through the basic, basic mm -hmm. stuff. There's two practice sessions in Dover. One's, one's uh, January, no, November, January, for the final graded exercise in March. State comes in, the feds come in, and we do this at the middle school in Dover. Mm -hmm. So we're involved in that. Basically the whole fire department has been doing it with them for, I don't know, 12 or 15 years now. This is our cycle, so All we're right. getting involved in that again. Too. <laughs> never ends. It never so ends. That's what, that's what cycles mean, right? That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of forget about we're it. in our budget cycle right now, which mm -hmm. reminds me. So, our, we're hoping you get your budget. Have your budget. Your I haven't given you anything. You know. Right. Yeah. I'm just, well, I'll get you something. Basically, uh, there's only a couple things that some of them we discuss. It was like uh, that money that went away for the radios. That five thousand dollars that just kind of disappeared. And we got to find a way to circle that back. And I don't know the best way to do it. Whether we just put it as part of the budget in the line item under like radios, mm -hmm. yes. or or a Warren article. I mean, I don't, I don't know how what the best way to do that. Is. It, it's less than ten thousand. I would suggest we'll just put it into our operating budget request. Okay. All right. That's the one thing I was looking down through that we need to uh, kind of uh, discuss. Okay. And I think maybe CIP or maybe another time I should probably just sit in front of you guys and I would prefer to do it in a non-public session at first and discuss some other things that are coming down the road that I think you might want to be aware of. Okay. Okay. Personal. Oh, personnel. Well, then we would do it in a public yes. personnel. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Very good. Have a nice evening. You too. Thanks. Snow plow drivers. <laughs> I will go right up there. All right. All right. right here on my list. Thank I'm you. off of my list when I get back. Thank you. Good night. All right, transfer station. I don't know how much we'll do here without Jody. The position, I don't think we've gotten any um, takers for that Saturday. I haven't heard anyone. Uh, transfer station fees. Which we have to wait. Before I slip out the door, I have one other request. Yes. I guess I'll run it through you guys is I would like to have permission to use the upstairs in a training illusion. Here? Yes. I want to bring my uh, all my new personnel. We're going to go for an evolution uh, advancing a hose line upstairs, out one of the back windows, but also do a search drill at the same time. I don't have access to any place where I have to go up multiple floors. I mean, the one at the fire station is nothing, so I want to... It would be no more than, you know, we have a truck out front, we just run crews right up the stairs and go through our exercise once or twice. And we won't disturb anything, we won't break anything, we won't get water all over the place. 
but it's just in there. I kind of walked up there a minute ago and I looked around and this would probably fit. Like it's safety, right? You know about the safety issues. We're not supposed to have, mm -hmm. I don't know what exactly the constraints are. Yeah. I mean, I know that we go up there, yeah. you know, we work in the storage unit there, We, but I don't know if there's a constraint with regard to the number of people that can be up there. I How say, many people are you thinking of? Well, it would be you know, two crews at a time, maybe six or eight at any given time. Oh, that's fine. Is it? That's okay? We have yeah, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking that, 30. So. Oh, all right. I'm talking okay. one hose well, line with two or three guys and two or three guys. There's different. issues with having a lot of weight in the center of the room at one time. But when they were talking, so uh, there was a study done God, 11, 12 years ago at this point. Uh, the, the library was, there was talk about having to put in the library up there. Yeah. And it wouldn't bear the load of all the shells. Oh, I see. If they were going to do what they had to have it all against the wall, it, it depends on what it work. That's the real. Okay. Yeah, we would, if we would be any more than that, it would just be crawling and making yeah, yeah, some of those be in and out. I mean, there's some, some, so. some pretty squishy spots up there when they were crawling around. Be careful where you're walking yeah, because I, they could be on the ground floor. I so. know, but everywhere we go in those kind of situations, it's yeah. squishy spots. Fair enough. Yeah. That you may, you may not be expecting. So yeah. that might not be a bad thing. So we can launch you. That floor's kind of spongy. Well, yeah, you need to go that way. Next time you're crawling in the house with the floors burned away, you may want to be aware. Fair enough. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you know when I might want to do that. But I All just right. wanted to make Would sure. Would the mill let you do anything like that too? Um, well, I've talked with getting with, up with, those with, spiral stairs. I mean. Yeah. Well, you see, the thing is, is because that is a protected building and it has stand pipes on each floor, we wouldn't drag a line like all the way up. We have a high rise pack and you'd strap it on your back and you'd go up to the floor. Gotcha. Actually, the way you do that stuff, you go to the floor above and you stretch down to the fire floor and then you make your advancement. Um, the way that I'm envisioning this one so it doesn't really fit that way. That's a good idea. You know? Back stairs there too. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's always just, you know, one night, a couple hours, and we'd be done. But we, I'm having trouble finding places that I can get some training for the people that need to have. All right. Okay, thank you. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you. Talked about plow drivers. Yeah. Uh, transfer station improvement project. We are uh, waiting on just the miscellaneous expenses for the warming shed, and I think uh, I don't know and a PL for the right. So we know Jody is going to get that together. Mm -hmm. So uh, and uh, training that for our new road agent. So mm -hmm. then she's in charge of that. So it's just there. Uh, police. We talked about the RFP. I've already apologized. Um, We'll go on to town administration. There's no use in the removal of the shed. All right, project updates. Um, culverts. So um, we did, you should have signed a check. Did you find a check tonight for Parker and Daughters? Yep, I signed it. Okay, so their pay rec was finally approved by Quail Tanner. I signed it based on board yeah, authorization. And it had to go through the USDA, so we did, the USDA sent it back to us today. So uh, Caroline was able to cut the check. Um, okay, item number two under there is just so that we don't forget it. And we're actually getting closer now. Um, and then three are the closing documents we have to start working on. So, uh, tax rate, we are um, trying to get the MS1 and the MS535 to appear in the portal so that we can download them and the board can review and sign them. Okay. So that's what we're working on. And um, it's a little frustrating. It's so it's on the state end then? Yeah. Yeah, we keep, yes, we told our contact that we don't, you know, We're not Avatar it. uploaded the MS1, we don't see it. Our auditor has submitted the MS535, and Michelle says, yeah, I see, he's released it to the town. Well, we don't see it. That's we don't see it. So we can't print it. If we don't see it, we can't print it. Right. Because for both of those, we have to actually print them on paper, sign, sign them, them, scan, scan them, them, and break, put them back up. It's a wonderfully efficient process. Right. So, what are they suggesting? I, I, left, I left Caroline oh. today, you know, saying, you know, please talk to Michelle once again. Because I'm not seeing them. Okay. Okay. Uh, treasurer's report. We got the report for August from uh, Beverly. I had no particular questions or comments. And then maybe I see the PDIP accounts are there. For us to look at. Uh, 2018 budget, um, nothing more to report other than 
when I was reading the minutes, we had some tentative dates for mm -hmm. budget, so I just wanted to sort them out. So we've got the 28th, which is a Saturday in October. I think we were all clear on that one. And then we've got two, uh, two Mondays at 6, and so the 16th, you won't be here, so we may choose not to do that one. But we've got one on the... It will depend. We, we might, because Jody has maybe, you know, it will give her an introduction. Yeah. We can both, we'll all be on the same page, yeah. so we might do that. And then the 23rd at 6. So those are still both still good for you. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Um, uh, and the 30th if we need it. Yes. Yeah. Administrative support, we said we'd wait till after the quarter three to review that, so we'll just table that yeah. one. Assessing card data. Yes. See October 2nd email. That's today. There was a, um, apparently Avatar printed the cards in July before the new data was put on. So Andrea would like us to request or, or give her the authority to request the Avatar um, reprint the tax price, which I think is appropriate. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's what that is? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. So she did not request it. She wants us to will request it. I will well, double check. I think that's what her email said. What day was it that it came through? Today. 25th? Okay. No. It's second. Okay. Oh, I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the one from Kevin Baum, so second, yeah. That's probably why it's so fresh in my mind. I wrote today. Yeah. Let <laughs> yeah. me get down to it. I did see that. I didn't realize that, you know, sometimes she just copies us on a request to Avatar, so. Yeah, I believe the resolution is to have Avatar print assessing cards utilizing the final assessing data issued in September so accurate assessing data is available in the municipal files. Okay, and she enough. sent it just to us. So we'll yeah. ask uh, we will ask Avatar. All right, that's pretty simple. So you'll reach out to Avatar? Okay. Yeah. Um, get back to my agenda. Junkyard. Junkyard. So um, we got an email today from our yep. building inspector, code enforcement officer. Would you like to, to say what it said? That one too. Basically, the state has signed off on uh, Mr. Um, Castanelli's, um, some of the issues he had going on over there. Let me find it. And he's suggesting that we sign off on the, uh, on the license. So it's from Mr. Don Watson from DES. Uh, so Mr. Cassiani, thank you for providing the evidence of the necessary corrective actions requested in the inspection report of 32317 regarding best management practices for automotive recycling facilities. As we discussed, you are still working on one last corrective action, the tote used antifreeze located in the box trailer will need to be moved um, into secondary spill containment or in a lift added to the trailer, so that the trailer itself becomes a secondary containment device. Uh, please keep me updated on the progress. Moving forward, please make sure to continue your weekly inspection of the facility and keep record documentations of these inspections. Also keep an eye on the stacks of used batteries to make sure they are not stacked more than five layers high, that the stacks are stable, and that each layer is separated by cardboard or another appropriate insulator. Uh, I will be sending a formal compliance letter to you in the coming weeks, but wanted to get this quickly reply out so that you, so as not to hold up the issuance of your town junkyard license. Here, uh, please contact me with any further questions regards Don Watson, Department of Environmental Services, New Hampshire Green Yards Program Coordinator, Waste Management Division. So, Thompson, in light of the letter, of first of all, surprised and impressed with the, 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 the progress Mr. Castanelli has actually made, and that um, it should be sufficient to issue his uh, junkyard license, town junkyard license. So, given that, happy we should be. Yep. 
given that I have the junkyard license, and so we can uh, sign it. Hit all of us. Yeah. Uh, today's the second, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm guessing that that last letter probably uh, spread CC. things along. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. 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 So this will prompt me to bring up another email. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, the nine twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Probably town line survey. So this is a uh, an email we got from our attorney, uh, our legal counsel, and. Um, so he's saying that, um, according to the Dover attorney, Dover's also fine with the survey plans that we signed last week. Um, I would, uh, Dover does not see the need for an intermediate offset bound, uh, which had been sort of recommended, I think, by Kevin McEnany. Mm -hmm. um, so... It was... To select board, it was to the select board, September 25th. Isn't that Monday? Monday, September 25th? Yeah, it was 9, 9 uh, I think it was earlier in the day, yeah. like 9 20 something in the morning. Yeah. Oh. So, he's saying, so, Kevin McEnany, the first piece in the thread is Kevin to Blankensop. Yeah. Okay. And he says, attached are the four sheets that comprise the town line survey. That's what we right. signed off on. Monuments marking the town line and offset markers still need to be set. Mm -hmm. I recommend that we set magnetic nails in the pavement of Oak Street at all of the angle points. Sure. So I think they're, they're cheap, or not as expensive, and they, they can they, be... And they actually go into the ground. So yes. you're not going to put a granite marker in the middle of Oak Street. Exactly. Yeah. And they can be red, I think. Right. So. But where... Where uh, traditional markers can be placed, they said he suggested putting those, right? And uh, I, remember, I do remember this email now, but it's not. I think we should set a bound where the town line intersects the right of way line on Portland Avenue. Uh, there's an existing bound on the west end just west of Broadway. And then he says we can set one or two intermediate offset bounds in the middle of the line on Oak Street. However, I'm not sure they will survive plowing. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, and Dover said no. Right. And so unless we want to make a... No, if they're not going to survive plowing, there's no point. Okay. As long as the most important ones are there. Yeah. All right. So I think um, maybe we just need to get back to to. Well, it'll also be memorialized. Uh, this will be um, filed with the yes register. register. So. Yes. So I will ask them if, if they're what cost they're anticipating for what for right. the other right. bounds. DOT Old Valley Bridge, we're tabling that. Historical Committee, um, I thought I had sent an email to Tom Jim asking the best way to do this. And you did, I don't know. You yes, well, Caroline said the it. same thing. Okay. So, so, so maybe you didn't so, send okay. Here. Or you sent it you didn't see I, I okay. sent it here. Fair enough. I sent it here. I composed it here. Does that count? No, it doesn't. Or a little Yeah. So I, I will do that this week. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> joint loss, Jody's not here. Policies and procedures, welfare, that's going to have to take a back seat. We've got the housing standards and our budget to work on. So mm -hmm. uh, I think we're done with our standing items, unless there's something else that, okay. So we will do our folder work. Board member activities. Uh, folder, did we do that? For, yes, board member activities. So the planning board meeting tomorrow night. We've got uh, two um, 
we have two projects. I just saw an email coming, I was looking for the other one, from um, Miles uh, England, the chair. And so we can't see if he responded to. Okay. It did not get noticed. He's not, doesn't understand quite why, because it was discussed at length, but um, um, we will see um, if we can't make it work for November, so he apologizes. It's not his fault. No, um, no. So anyways, there are two uh, things on the agenda for tomorrow night. Okay. Um, uh, minor subdivision review on, I can just read it to you, on Shady Lane. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, that way I'll have to do the actual language of this poll. Minor subdivision application, okay, for uh, Shady Lane, um, and at eight o'clock, full site plan review for modifications to uh, property known as the Bloom Building. And if you sort of bring up the notion of uh, building permits, that I will discuss yeah. it with Mr. Um, Apsey, okay. the owner, because okay. there's been a lot of activity going on in that building. Interior-wise, I can hear it. So a lot of okay. it happens at night, actually. So, um, yeah. So now keep in mind, it, it is it is um, still zoned as commercial. So there could be commercial clients in there. So mm -hmm. just because I hear noises doesn't mean sure. anything. So but sure. there's been trucks coming in out this restoration stuff on the side of them. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming there's more than just eh, unless they're the company working in there. I don't know. They could that could be renting the space. Um, <laughs> the CIP meeting was supposed to be also on Thursday evening. Yeah, that this Thursday has been canceled. Uh, we're going to do a meeting just on the 12th. Um, the fire chief and the police chief weren't available this Thursday night to meet with us, so it seemed so trying to get prudent to have a meeting with the two people, two principals, yeah. if they're not there. So I'm going to check in with Jody too about getting a roof roof estimates for the highway department and, and yes, here, so that the same company that did the other. Well, yeah, which is, just to get a, an idea of a quote, right, right. so that we know yes. what to put. So we're going to add that in, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got. I think I did put in a line for the town hall. Yes, but there's no. Correct. There's no I recall, cost. That's, that's correct. But I don't think there's even a line for the uh, highway department roof. Highway department, no. There is one for the fire department. Right, but you know, we've been dealing with shingles and stuff, so yeah, we, it definitely. might not be a bad idea to get a, a quote from this. So, okay. Just planning for this week. All right. And I'm meeting with uh, Mr. Pike, Chris Matheson, oh, good. tomorrow afternoon at 2. Good. Thank you. So we'll uh, start at the Woodlands, yeah. and if there is you know, I, I may, may take them to Heritage, you know, in Moses Tar. Because those are the two, those are the two next ones on the list. So it right. depends on what, with, with how it fit, how our budget is best, it's, you know, is it suited to do all of one? We had sort of had them in the plan split, so two years for both of them. Right. But it may, it may work out to be more efficient to do we may show him a list of, of, of the other roads to make sure that those still have the two top priority roads, or three top priority roads, four top priority. All right. Should I add another one? Right, because it's Moses Car, Heritage, and then the two in, in the River woods. and Part of River and whatever. The woods Run. Woods Run. Yeah. So that would be four. I have to talk sometimes. Um, but I mean, Get it maybe if he's willing you, to. Do you think he knows our roads? He doesn't know. No, no, but if he's going to look at them, he, is he going over there to look at them with you? Where? Yes. Yes, we're okay. meeting at right. the, the, the Woodlands. Okay, so that's happening uh, tomorrow, and we may try to get a special board meeting on Friday to, to process the RFP, so we'll work on that. All right, so now it's full to work. All right, we have some building permits tonight. <clears throat> the first one I have, I'll have to check the one I have. Not sure to be made up anyway, appropriately. Okay, the first is building permit. This is numerical order for you. Okay, uh, for you, give me a second. Or I can strive to anyway, I guess I can't. Uh, 2017 054. It's uh, 43 Woods Run. They are. Putting on an addition uh, to an existing sunroom right, slash deck. Um, Tom has reviewed it. It's a $325 fee. It's like a nice uh, addition. Mm -hmm. Also the 
plan to get into. Next we have, uh, I think we're going to have to table this one actually, but I, I'll, I'll, read it in, I'll read it into the record. 2017-1089 Nordic Lane. And only one member of the board can act on it this evening, so I think we're going to have to. Um, That's fine. We can put it aside. We're going to have to table it. So. No problem. Uh, I don't have any sticky notes, unfortunately. Um, oh, anyways, next is 2017-109, 44 Rollins Road. Installation of a generator. Yes. Well, is that you, folks? And. Uh, uh, reviewed by Mr. Clark at the ninety dollar fee. If I do just till the end of the year, is that sufficient, or do you need till the middle? It'll be in year? next week. Okay. It'll be in. I had to call to remind him. Well, I should have been for next year then, just in case. All right, that one. Is, oh, you can do that. That one. Sorry. Did I have to pass the other one down to you? No, but I can't sign it. No, no, you the, did the first, first one. one. Okay, good. Yes, I gave it. Corey has them. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going to pile them up there, then you can send them back. Okay, that's fine. When he's done. I will let him know so he can pay it. Yes. The next one is 2017-110. It is 47 dash. 49 South Street. They are putting in a new driveway. Um, Mr. Clark has reviewed it. It's a $95 fee. I need a sticky note. We'll grant it. Everything is kosher with this? Yeah. Okay. He reviewed it. Yeah, yeah. No, we do okay. permits for driveways. I don't yeah. know why he was. Okay. I think he, I don't know. Remind. Right. We send them out all the time to people that have failed to get a permit. So, yeah. Some of them being proactive, I don't know why we wouldn't do it. All right. So, that's it. The whenever you're, whenever you're, okay. So, take it back. So, this is a from the U.S. Department of Labor for elevator inspection, and it's an unpaid civil penalty because we didn't do the elevator in time. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. If, so I'm going to pass the that back back to Caroline and say, please appeal. I thought we had a company I, that, that I, does yearly maintenance and all that. And so I don't know what the issue is, so I'm going to ask Caroline to. Sure. I just want to look at her while you're going to the next thing. I have uh, two letters to go out, one on Clement Road uh, for possible paving without a permit, and one on Placid Ave, oh, <laughs> Port Charlotte, Florida, it's obviously the property on uh, Demolition and renovation on 620 Rollins Road. So one is yes. 131 Clement Road and yeah. 620. So. One is um, the demolition and the rebuilding the house at 620 mm -hmm. and Rollins Road. Mm -hmm. right. So I will sign both. Yeah, and then the other one is the driveway, which looks like it was extended quite a bit in the back. And like a big turnaround or anything. Like what I can see from the street driving by. But. Do you want to see these, Corey? Yeah. I'm assuming that uh, she didn't e e email me back. I'm assuming that we didn't, haven't already issued building permits for either of those uh, projects. Okay. So we have heard from the U.S. Department of Labor, and Jeff St. Jean does request a hearing on the fact that we are not paying him for those five days. Okay. So please respond to the address below within 10 days. So I, so I would assume that we would want to participate in the hearing. Sure. Yeah. Who has to go to Concord and... Uh, please be, page? maybe we don't have to do it. This is just our copy, I think. Please be advised that the above captioned employer 
takes exception to your wage claim, so this is to Joe. Mm -hmm. He's considered the objections carefully. So he does request it. Okay. It's not a signature. But. So I guess we'll wait to hear from them from when, when the hearing is. I suspect, yes, it will be in Concord. I don't know um, if one of us goes, all of us, seven of us, go, two of us, or legal counsel. Or legal counsel. I don't yeah. know who does it. I don't know either. So I think that's just, uh oh. What's that? Looks like a septic. Has it been reviewed by, it's been stamped already. Tom Clark. It's already, it's been, already stamped. been stamped by the Two tenor. signatures. Two, what is it? What is it? Sensei. Is that what it says? Oh, you know what? This was last week. One, it must have been in the folder, and there must have been three copies of it. Maybe Jody just missed one. She stamped it just for oh, sign it, maybe. Oh, so, please sign it. Okay. Don't throw it. Alright. I'll have to go back and do it, so. So here's a request for polls. Did that one. Three poems. Two additional ones. Roberts Road. To replace a pole. Mm -hmm. So it's a pole replacement, it looks like. You can take a look at it, see if you see anything different there. This looks like just a second copy. So I don't know why we have three copies. They look like they're the same. Yeah, it was the spot. same last time too. Oh, all right. So, so one copy is there, one's oh, out, right. and one's probably okay. the landowner. So or the two signatures there. should be sufficient. from Haven. It's a bid for money, so uh, budget. Is that, uh, Who is Haven? Haven Violence. The, is that the one that was combined? The sexual assault. That was given the in increase in funds. So the 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 yeah, from sales. Okay. Health check. We've looked at that. Oh, We've looked at this. We've looked at this. Yeah, it did. Yeah, see if you, I don't know. Take a look. Maybe it's something we thought you would attend. Oh, goody. Oh, no, this is, um, this just seems to be filed. This is back from June. This is okay. where I was reappointed as the attacked person and Joey's the, the alternate. It's just old. It's all always right. easy to be taken out of the old. Okay, so I think we're. Other than that, we're all good. And we have, uh, who played the way? We have a non-public Oh my goodness. Maybe we can, uh, oh. we can uh, recess. Let's see if there's any community input. Any community input? Oh, I need to keep, uh... Well, we just recess. You don't have to record it, not to stay. No, no one has to say. We're, we're going into non-public. We're waiting for an employee to arrive. These requests are non-public, and we will do that. And then I'll just 
We're going to rec uh, I'll put, we'll probably have a move to recess. Okay. And then we'll reopen it at eight, and I'll send you the I'll send you the when minutes for that piece. Okay. Um, recess at seven thirty. Yes. Is that a motion to recess? Yes. Or if I'm going to recess at seven thirty. You just yeah, we're just, it's a we're just yeah, So by consensus, we're in recess. So if you know that, then um, I will send you the rest. Okay. Put this away. Yeah. So. No, I just need to put others. Yeah.